Sun Wukong, the Monkey King from Chinese mythology. Journey to the West, a wonderful Chinese classic, features one of the most well-known primate figures in all literature. The plot centers on the actions of Sun Wukong, an eternal macaque monkey demon who, after years of spiritual training, develops amazing strength and rebels against heaven's supremacy. Like Loki in Norse mythology and Lucifer in Judeo-Christian mythology, the trickster god loses his favor when a superior divinity, the Buddha, casts him into a lower-level earthly jail. But unlike his western counterparts, the monkey turns to Buddhism, becomes a monk, and consents to use his skills to defend a priest traveling to India to gather sutras. Let's start the tale of Sun Wukong from the beginning, and the story starts from its birth. Although Wukong is a mythical character, his birth stories are magical. A Child of the Universe The origin of Sun Wukong is both unusual and eerily similar. The giant enchanted stone, Mount Huahuo, or the mountain of flowers and fruit, was where the monkey was born. The rock is nurtured by both the Earth's yin, negative nature, and heaven's yang, positive nature, is a key component of its charm. Combining these two universal elements creates life inside the stone, similar to how Pan Gu, the Taoist creation deity, is made by yin and yang in the cosmic egg. In Sun Wukong's case, yin and yang turned the magic rock into a womb within which an egg was hatched. The egg eventually cracked the stone and was left outside in the weather. As the wind passed, the egg changed into a stone monkey and it instantly began to move and crawl. The origin legend of Hanuman, the Hindu monkey deity, is similar to this one, in that both were created when the wind, or Vayu, the Hindu god of wind, blew against a rock. The conception of the egg from the yin and yang is a highly Taoist idea at the same time. When Sun Wukong opened his eyes for the first time, two golden light beams began to shoot out of them adding even more intrigue to his birth. The Jade Emperor's castle in heaven was illuminated by the rays, startling the god. The emperor dispatched two officers to look into it out of curiosity. When they returned, they explained that it was merely a stone monkey, and the light went off when it drank or ate. The Jade Emperor heard this and soon lost interest. Sun Wukong finally made friends with some of the other creatures on the mountain, after being left to his own devices. He developed more monkey-like characteristics as he matured, including a thick covering of hair and the transformation of the stone into flesh. After achieving various accomplishments, like leaping into a waterfall and swimming upstream, Sun Wukong, a monkey raised with other monkeys and animals, also managed to rule them, or the so-called king of monkeys. During that time in his life, Sun Wukong also faced up against a variety of enemies, including the sea's dragon king and many sea monsters. He would also amass quite a collection of armor and weaponry from his adversaries, like his eight-ton staff that could shrink magically, his cloud walking boots, his phoenix feather cap, and his renowned gold chainmail shirt. Wukong possesses unrivaled superhuman strength and the power to change into 72 different creatures and things he has magical control over wind, water, and fire, and has transformational abilities in each of his hairs. One of the most significant and adored literary personalities in Chinese culture, Sun Wukong is known for his short fuse, impatience, and propensity for rage. Etymology The characters for Grandson, Awakened, and Space make up the name Sun Wukong. Although the letter Sun often refers to grandkids, it relates to monkeys in the sentence. His name means monkey woken by nothingness in literal terms. Wukong's name symbolizes his spiritual development from a dim-witted, irritable monkey to a kind, enlightened creature. He goes by the name Sun Goku in Japan. Monkey King's Attributes Sun Wukong stands apart from the other gods because he resembles a monkey. Wukong is frequently shown as a macaque in its natural state before being enlightened. Wukong is typically depicted in full warrior garb with extraordinary accoutrements like a golden chainmail tunic, a phoenix feathered headdress, cloud walking boots, 
and an 8-ton staff that can shrink to the size of a needle after dedicating himself to the Buddhist monk Tang Sanzang. The Mythology In the adventure book Journey to the West from the Song Dynasty, the legend of Sun Wukong initially appears. The book tells the tale of Tang Sanzang, a devout Buddhist monk who leaves his birthplace in southern China for India in search of sacred writings that may educate his people. Wukong protects the monk on his trip after being freed from the mountain he had been imprisoned beneath for 500 years. Sun Wukong was born from a miraculous rock, hence he has no biological relations. He presided over a band of roving monkeys that looked after him and respected him as the leader before entering the Jade Emperor's court. This all sounds magical, and learning about Sun Wukong has enchanted us. But let's not lose Wukong's charm before we move forward. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel so we keep bringing you such videos. Let's get back to the tale. Sun Wukong, Journey to the West Journey to the West takes its name from this chapter of Sun Wukong's tale. A wandering Buddhist monk, Tan Sangzan, found the Monkey King 500 years after Buddha imprisoned him beneath the mountain. If the Monkey King agreed to turn from his sin and become his student, the monk would release Wukong. Even after 500 years of humiliation, Wukong was still somewhat arrogant and refused to serve anybody. Sun Wukong quickly changed his mind and urged Tan Sangzang to turn around as he started to walk away. He gave the wandering monk his delighted service in return for his freedom. Although he concurred, Tan Sangzang pleaded with the goddess of mercy, Guan Yin, to provide him with a magical band to ensure his dominance over the Monkey King. Sun Wukong was later set free by Tan Sanzang, who also allowed him to join his other two followers, the disgraced former celestial commander Xia Wujing, or Sandy, and the half-hog half-human Zhu Bajie, or Piggy. After being freed, Sun Wukong followed Tan Sanzang on his voyage to the west and was appreciative of him. The pilgrim monk's true destination was India, where he intended to look for some old Buddhist texts that might aid him on his path to enlightenment. Sun Wukong and his new friends had to fight off demons and other enemies during the lengthy and dangerous trek. Along the process, he also learned important lessons from Piggy, Sandy, and Tang Sanzang. And by the time they reached their destination, Sun Wukong had finally evolved from the greedy, arrogant, and enraged monkey he had been to attaining enlightenment. The Trickster King of Monkeys The way Sun Wukong preserved his soul is what gave him the nickname Trickster, not only his fun and happy nature. Sun Wukong was visited by Yan Wang and the Ten Kings of Hell after spending some time as a king of monkeys. It turned out that they needed to gather Sun Wukong's soul at this point. But the Monkey King was prepared for this. So, he deceived Yan Wang into letting him leave without being killed. Sun Wukong also succeeded in obtaining the Book of Life and Death. The Monkey King deleted all of the monkey's names from the book, including his own, putting their souls beyond the grasp of the kings of hell. Yan Wang was incensed by this and joined the clamor of others appealing to the Jade Emperor to deal with the arrogant monkey, many of whom Sun Wukong had fooled or vanquished. Although most Chinese Buddhists don't regard Sun Wukong as a god, he is nevertheless a well-known and significant figure in Chinese culture. He is one of the most compelling and enduring characters in all of Chinese literature. The path of Sun Wukong from mischievous demon to strong immortal to enlightened Buddhist is something of legendary mythology. Well folks, that is it for today. This was everything you need to know about Sun Wukong, the Chinese trickster god known as the Monkey King. Also, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to receive all the latest updates on mythology and history. See you all later!